Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to insert some media to our blog post so that people are drawn in again and it just kind of shows everything. It gives examples. So what you do is you are going to put your cursor where you would like your media to go. And then over here up at the top in your ribbon, you're going to see a picture icon and that's where you go to insert an image and then you can choose files from your desktop or wherever you have them saved. I went ahead and saved a couple and I'm going to locate and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an image of the actual app I used. I have two of them so I select them and press open. It's going to upload them and then I'm going to select both again and say add selected. I can move them around by just clicking and dragging. I can move them so that the text wraps. It's all up to you. If you click on one, you can um, decide what size you want it to be. Again, all your preference, up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, you can also add uh, a caption. So if you want to put what it is, you're more than welcome to. And then also you can kind of, you know, align it however you want. I'm going to keep mine just like this for right now. Then I'm going to come down to my student sample section and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I did some screenshots of my student work. And it's going to upload it again. I'm going to select both of them and then I'm going to add selected. Those look pretty good. I don't want that many spaces. Let's see here. I'm going to add a space down here. And then I'm good to go with my post. Now, if you wanted to add video, you just select that and you can automatically, you know, insert the URL from a YouTube if you want to. If you have a YouTube channel that you actually use, this would be great know that with every Gmail account you also have a YouTube channel so that's where you could be saving videos you could make them private if you don't want to share them but make them public so others can see you can do some from your phone you can go ahead and record one from your webcam if you wanted to or you can upload if you have them saved to your desktop so that's how you would do that you would upload them and then do insert and then you're done and that is pretty much all you need to know for how to insert some media into your blog post. Please um, watch the next video so that you know how to insert labels into your blog post.